Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys, VIPER here, and welcome to another player review on the channel. I hope you guys are keeping well. We have got a showdown SPC today, Matteo Darmian and Luis Muriel. Now, obviously, I assume a lot of people are very interested in Darmian, the Inter Milan player. But we've got Atalanta player, Luis Muriel, that I've just completed and who looks to be really, really, really good. Um, first of all, what we need to do... Where is he in the club? Is he 87 rated? There he is. There's the boy. We need to put some uh, position modifiers on him. I think this SPC is quite good, by the way, just off the face value. Muriel's obviously always been really, really good on FIFA. Um, I don't know how good he is this year. But his base card stats look really good. He is a bit expensive. Um, the SPC is an 86 rated squad with an inform. And an 82 rated squad with an inform. Coming in at about 140, 150k. Looking at his stats, so that's not really the worst price in the world. A um, few things to, 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 you know, kind of rattle off before we get into the review. Apparently, he's got R9's body type in game, which is very, very stocky. Um, and obviously, R9 is known for having really good strength because of his body type. So I'm hoping that's going to transition over to Muriel as well. Um, he's obviously 4 star, 4 star, high medium, right foot and 5 foot 10. He looks to be great. As you can see here, 5 10, high medium, 4 star, 4 star. So as we move on to his actual base card stats, he's got 92 pace. 91 dribbling, 87 shooting, 81 passing, and 77 physical. I believe he used to have like medium low work rates, so the high medium is quite a nice change. Um, great thing about this card, just off the base card stats already, he's got good passing at 81. I'm pretty sure on his gold card, his passing is woeful. Let's look at the traits real quick as well. He hasn't got the finesse shot trait, he hasn't got the outside of the foot shot trait. This card is very, very much a getting behind striker. Um, as we actually look at the in-games though, wow, 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 wow. Insane in-games. 90 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 90 attack positioning, 88 finishing, 86 shot power, 88 long shots, 82 volleys. He's got 86 vision, which is quite nice. He's got 86 short pass, which is quite nice as well, with 90 curve. So the fact he doesn't have the finesse shot, he's got really high long shots and really high curve. Which is really, really nice. 90 agility. 93 balance. 89 reactions. 88 ball control. 93 dribbling. 87 composure. And he's not very good in the air. But he's got really, really good strength. Which is quite strange to have on a card like this. Because he's very much a speed dribbler. Kind of, you know. Kind of like Mbappe. In some regards, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the high strength and the high agility and balance is really, really nice. And something that's really, really underrated on FIFA, in my opinion. Looks to be a great card. His finesse shots should be good. Obviously, it's Atalanta against Inter. Inter are probably favourites. And I'm not sure who's at home. But if Atalanta can at least get a draw, it'd be awesome for this card. Um, I want Atalanta to win. Although I am going to do Darmian as well, because he's a past United player. I'm more interested in this Muriel, just like you guys are, I'd imagine. Looks to be an awesome card. Let's get into the uh, the chemistry style. Um, I think, personally, a Hawk is probably the best for him. Gets his finishing up. Gets his strength up to 88, I believe it is. Wow. Oh, my God. That is the chem style for him. Goes up to 97 pace. Gets 93 finishing. 95 attack positioning. 96 shot power. 98 long shots. Basically maxed out. He's getting plus 5 on his strength as well. Taking it up to 88. His dribbling stats are already insane. I think that's the best chemistry style for him personally. I think that improves the areas we need to improve the most. I also do think, just looking at his base card stats, he'd be really good as a ram, lamb, right mid or left mid. But I'm personally going to play him at striker. In a full one two narrow. Um, alongside Mbappe, which should be quite fun. We're going to go into a few games of uh, Champs playoffs. See how we get on with him. So let's get into that and see how we get on. Here he is again. Luis. Luis. 
Oh. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, my God. He's dribbling. He's nutty. What the hell? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Muriel. What a goal. We're back in this game. Free all. Very good stuff. All right, lads. Into the game we go. Let's see how we get on with Muriel. If this guy wants to ready up, that is. He does. Let's go. Pretty bog standard team. Fair play. Pretty bog standard. He's got Morales, Ronaldo. Um, I respect the team, for sure. Um, yeah, let's get into the game and see how we get on with, with the boy. I'm anticipating him to be really good, so... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Cool. Right, let's go. How was your bottle, Muriel? Let's go. Good start. Oh, my days. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's a Kimpembe destroyer. Do you see that there? He held off uh, Kimpembe there. A bit of a beast. A bit of a beast. Early doors here. Good play. Apart from that, I don't know why he's... This game needs Jesus, let me tell you that. That's all I'll say. The way we play FIFA, Muriel should be insane. Luis. 2-0. Good finish there as well. This guy's going to leave. I'm going to keep you with me. We're going to go get straight into another game. And that'll be the review done. Uh, very, very easy there. <clears throat> We've already played one game. We lost 4-3. Um, narrowly, and the goal was being toxic, so I didn't show you the gameplay. I only showed you a few of the goals uh, Muriel scored. So that's actually his second game. Um, we lost in the 90th minute. He scored. Um, but whatever. Into the next game. This guy's got a pretty bog standard team as well. Let's see how we get on against this guy. He's got my nan, who is the best keeper in the game. So... Got to take that into account. He actually is the best keeper on the game, though, in my opinion. Don't know what you guys think, but I think he's an absolute animal. Right. Anyway, into the game we go. Muriel's third game. I've liked him so far. Um, what I will say, though... Oh, my God. His, his finesses are bad. Can I play? His finesses are bad. Like, bad, bad. Um... Nice Fofana. Into Bamba. Yeah, nice. Oh, my God. Oh, this game is so bad. What is that touch? Oh, EA, man. Nice. Well done, Quadralo. This Draxler card, man, is really, really falling off as well, by the way. He's tragic. Okay. we got going on here? This guy got enough players back. Oh my god. This game is very, very stressful, guys, at the minute. Because the, the first patch that they've done... Oh my lord. It's coming out in a few days. And um, they still haven't addressed like a lot of the issues with the game. They've tried to ad address a few things. Um, which, fair enough to. But the over-the-top balls are still there, so... This guy's actually quite good. Oh my, there's no way that's a foul. My man just ran into me. This guy's actually a good player. He just runs straight though and I'm just letting him. Oh God. No. Come on, Reese. Wake up. Here goes Muriel. Oh my days, his dribbling is crazy. Oh. If he gets a plus two, he is game over. He is broken. Having that good strength and that, and that ability to turn on a sixpence like that is very hard to find on FIFA nowadays. Oh, my God. Oh, what a save, my man. <clears throat> where, where is he? He hasn't got good uh, abilities in the air, so... If I find her. Is Muriel. Oh my god. He's good. He is actually very, very good. I already knew he was good after the first game I played. 
Um, but to actually see it, his dribbling like properly, get a bit more on the ball with him. Um, as a guy I was playing before was just hogging the ball and, and not doing a lot. Um, yeah, his, uh, his 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 dribbling abilities are crazy. Oh, this guy, man, he just runs. Sprint boost is insane as well, guys. Oh, I don't know about that. He's going to leave. 100% he's leaving. Is he not? I'd love it if he didn't. Nice, fair play. Um, yeah, his, his finishing sometimes is a bit dodgy. Even with the hawk on. What the hell is that? I don't know if that's me or... Pen! Pen! That's 100% a penalty! Fair enough. Fair enough. He's got away with that one there. We're all over this guy though. What is that pass? i t tell you something, guys. If you've got this baby Dino, it's, it's, it's time to go. He's awful. Can he hold off Koulibaly? Look how quick his dribbling is. Oh, my days. I like how quickly he bobs and weaves, man. Oh. If he had five-star skills, it'd be game over, man. <clears throat> I just don't trust Draxler there. That's why I passed that. Not because I was uh, trying to only get things with uh, Muriel there. Draxler is dog, man. This guy's pr pretty uh, pragmatic at defending, isn't he? <laughs> oh my god, man. He's a good defender, actually, though. I feel like I'm playing Jose Mourinho. He's offside trapping. He's doing everything. Fair play. Fair play to the boy. That's all I've got to say. Why is this guy actually good? He's got a bad team. Maybe I'm just bad. <laughs> he is defending with passion. It's definitely not pragmatic, is it? Oh, look at him defending like this. What a beast. Oh! He's almost played out there brilliantly, to be fair to him. Over to Muriel. What you got, pal? It's a good pass, but my nan again. With Mr. Stretchy Arms out of Fantastic Four. You've just got to respect it. We are dominating, though. There it is. Thank you very much. He he hits the ball with a lot of power as well. And I don't know if that's just because he does, or hit, like the, the increase on the Hawk. Uh, because obviously, generally, his shot power isn't the best. It's only uh, 86 by default. Oh, yes. It was he held off Koulibaly there somehow. The way this guy defends is so strange. Like, really, just just watch it, guys. It's so weird. Oh, oh, no. Nah, his, his finesse shots are not the one. His finesse shots are, are, are quite bad. I'm going to keep you here for the rest of the game, actually. Oh, I really don't like his finesse shots, so. Which is disappointing, actually. Don't really like Ronaldinho anymore. Yeah, I thought his finesse shots were going to be really, really good. But um, <clears throat> it turns out that they're not so good. So if you're looking at a finesse shot merchant kind of op option here, not very good on, on that regard at all. Look at how many players this guy gets around you. What the hell was that? Have I just done a... What, what are they called again? The, the FIFA 2021 20, skill move thing? Bridge. That's the one. I just done a bridge, I think. Nice one, Cordo. Cordo, but nice. Good pass from Bamba. Muriel. Can you bang that? Can you bang that? Oh, we can. What a goal. What a goal. 
Look at that run again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Ref. Thank you. Look at his strength. Look at his strength, guys. Oh, this guy's a beast. Oh, he's a beast. Oh, my God. He's so good. He's actually sick. Holy. If you're good at left stick dribbling, doing all the unrealistic, stupid stuff that th this game makes you have to do because you can't play real football, <laughs> Muriel's your guy. Oh, man. Look at how good he... Oh, bro. I know I bottled that, but his dribbling is crazy. Can't switch player. Literally can't switch to the right players ever. What on earth are you trying to do, pal? We are very much in control of the game, though. Game is over. Um, been really, really enjoyable, this review, actually. Apart from the first game against that toxic guy. Can you find that? Can you find that? Oh, my God. He's actually won the header as well. Um, yeah. I like this card. Oh, my God. Oh, man. He's awesome, guys. This is this is another great card. Like, if, if you have... Uh, if you have Cordoba just sitting in your club, you can just perfect link him to him... And you just need one more soft link to be able to get him in your team. Which is pretty damn nice, actually. That's a uh, 6 1. He's going to leave now. Let's get into the final part of the review, guys. Alright, guys. So, three games done with Muriel. I really, really like this card. I think this card has a lot of opportunities as well. If he gets upgraded to the 88 or even the 89, or sorry, the 89 or even the 88, this is going to be a stupidly good card. He, he already has. Some of the best dribbling I've ever tried on the game. Um, his dribbling was nuts. Even with just a hawk on. You know, he didn't even touch his dribbling. His dribbling was some of the best I've used on the game. Um, not exactly comparable to Messi's. As Messi's is the best on the game, in my opinion. But just below that. Um, I preferred his dribbling to Mbappe's. I preferred his dribbling to Neymar's. Obviously, the one thing you're getting, you know, we're comparing to five-star skillers. And five star skillers generally dribble a little bit better anyway. Um, but he is like the B Tech Messi in terms of dri dribbling, which is quite an interesting thing to see. Um, I really liked his strength coupled in with the dribbling. That's something very, very unique that you don't very often get on players, which I thought was one of the, the top qualities with the card. His ability to turn quickly and also to hold off players whilst he's turning quickly. Second to none. Very unique, very hard to deal with. His passing. Was okay, nothing great, nothing, you know, spectacular, but also wasn't bad. You know, he'd done what he needed to do. He's a striker at the end of the day. He's a getting behind striker. Um, having that short pass and that vision is quite nice to have. And it does get you through the games. Shooting. His finesse shots are not good. Uh, his finesse shots, in fact, are very poor. Um, I tried a few green finesses. No chance were they going anywhere near the goal. Even with the Hawk on... Um, I know I've said that a lot, and I know Hawkorn is probably not the best word to be using. Um, but yeah, with the Hawk, I was expecting his long shots and, and finesse shots to be a lot better. They weren't the best, but you could probably shoot from about the kind of the D area, and they will still go in, um, which I don't think you get very often on a lot of players, um, just because of his shot power and long shots being so high. Finishing was good, not the best. Um, I'm probably going to give his finishing a 7 out of 10. Sometimes uh, he just won't get them on target. You might have to make sure you green them with him. Or they will always go on target, but the keeper will just save them, parry them away. So make sure you're greening every shot you do with him. Um, I think the Hawk is still the best chemistry style, though, just because of that increase of pace, strength, attack positioning, shot power, and finishing. Didn't really affect his long shots, though, which were really poor, in my opinion. Make sure you give something for his pace. This is a great card. I'm now going to go... I review all of his uh, kind of number, all of his stats um, in terms of how I think they are. So pace, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10. 
Shooting, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10, just for his uh, long shots being really bad. Or 6 out of 10, maybe, is probably a bit more fair. Passing, for what he is, 6 out of 10 as well. Dribbling, for what I was expecting, this is a 9.5 out of 10. I, I, I was shocked at how good his dribbling was. Um, as it isn't the best, really, um, as you look at the dribbling stats, they are still obviously very good, but he really did shock me with how quick he could turn and do shot cancels. Um, so that is going to be a 9.5 out of 10. Really, really good stuff from Muriel in that category, um, in my opinion. One of the best in the game, honestly. Um, in terms of physical, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 as well, just because I really like the high strength um, and the body type. It's a really, really, really good card, this one. And I would highly recommend you guys go and do him. As I said, he's coming in about 140, 150k. Four star, four star. He got eight goals in three games and one assist. He's an awesome card. Go and get him done. I'm sure you guys won't regret it. Hopefully, Atalanta go and beat Inter. Sorry, Inter fans. Um, but I really want this card to get upgraded to an 89. But guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it. In fact, actually, before I go, I'm actually going to rate the card a 9 out of 10 um, as a whole. Awesome card. But I'm going to be gone now. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on it. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.